We're gonna go get our Omnipods! Woohoo! We're here at the library to meet the diabetes person that's gonna teach us how to use the Omnipod. Woohoo! Let's go! We're walking through the doors. Let's do this. Game time! Or Omnipod time! The Omnipod lady's not here yet, but we're still going to get out our stuff. Mm. We're going to open up the Omnipod back. <laughs> it's going to be this one. This is going to be our first Omnipod. Here we have our PVM. How do you open this box? And here's our PVM. And here's my insulin. These boxes are filled with the insulin that we're gonna put in the Omnipod. Woohoo! Repair infusion site. Remove pod's needle cap. Yeah. If the can is out of shun, press discard. So I'm gonna steal it from you a second, Dylan. The way I do it is, is um, the air and that little thing. And we're gonna pull it back to where it says minimal amount. Do you see that, honey? Mm -hmm. Good job. We're gonna go ahead and put it in your insulin bottle, straight in, so we don't break the needle. There you go. And then you're gonna try to push the air in, and then you're gonna kind of hold everything and turn it upside down. It's a little tricky, but you just gotta be careful you don't bend the needle. Yeah, sweetie. After filling, or fill a pod with insulin. Yeah. yeah. So it goes straight in. You got it, kiddo. Good job. And they're touching into the right, and now you can push all the insulin in. Awesome. Good job, honey. Now we take the needle. <laughs> and um, did we already clean off your arm? Not yet. Okay, so we'll do that first so it's dry. You want, you want it on that arm? Yeah. On that arm? Okay. Do you want this part, Kaylin? Like if you're making a muscle, it's yeah. it's the part underneath there. Like so put your arm up like yeah. this. So right here. Exactly. And you don't want to go real close to your armpit, but not perfect, mom. Like not perfect. Right perfect. And it's more on the inner part. You know, no right or wrong way, but you'll get some focus. Good job, sweetie. And then now we can go ahead, and we can even always go back to this, but if we mm -hmm. take off your tape tape, good, and you gotta just be real careful you don't drop it, and it's down into the side. Good job, sweetie. And then without touching the tape, you hold the side of the pod real tight, and then towards your mom. Good job. It doesn't matter what direction it goes, the cano can face you or not face you, and he's just going to directly stick it right on the skin, okay? Can you do right that? Right in that area. Good job. And you just stick it right on there. And then you really seal up the edges, Dalen. You have to go all the way around. Is that down too close to your elbow? And you want to kind of push on. There you go. Just to really secure the tape there. Is it up far enough, honey? You yeah. Feel? yeah. I feel okay. fine. Because it's going to be there for three days. Yeah. I want to cool. <laughs> If you go like this with your finger and really seal over the tape, and it's okay, you'll get full the first couple times you try it. Good job, Mom. Good job. You can hit next. And then once you hit start, Dalen, it makes like a clicking noise, and mm -hmm. it's five feet from each other, and then it goes pop, and it does like a real quick, it feels like a really quick shot, and it goes away, I promise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just do that next. Ready? Get rid of all this. Okay. One shot every three days, yay. It makes like that little clicking noise. You're done. Yay, I got it. <laughs> That's if you ever did a, a manual bolus, how it delivers the insulin, but we'll go over all this too. 
Max Bolas Theater. you enjoyed watching my video. I got my first Omnipod ever. Didn't hurt one bit. It was so cool. Hope you liked it. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. Bye!